could this golf ball spark the end of the Pro V1's reign as number one ball? Let's do it. And let's do it now. Oh, oh. <laughs> we threw it at you, sorry. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name's James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, in today's video, we are testing... Are you having that now? I'm going to dry it for you. <laughs> the Tor Speed Titleist. Ball. Now, I, this ball's different to what I thought it was, and we're going to go into that in a second, but Chris, it's a premium urethane cover. Mm. So, for, 30, um, for 34 99 34 99 a dozen, so not the cheapest ball by any stretch, but could this spark the end of the Pro V1? Chris, I'm going to give you the honour today. Right. We are talking balls once again. We are 17th here at Woolley. The boys uh, are actually, in danger. It's actually the 16th, so it's a good start. 16th here at Woolley. Well, up. Well, you didn't get the boys. Well, I think. Mean, and you see, at 34.99 a dozen, you don't really want to be losing these, do you? <laughs> it's social on the same side yeah we'll take that so quite interesting to see where this ball sits in the lineup of titleist golf balls do they have too many balls on the market should everyone just be using a premium pro v1 uh what are they 49.99 a dozen now pretty much i think yeah hmm. and for me one of the big things i look at when i am testing a golf ball or even considering putting a golf ball in play is what that cover's made out of is it ionomer is it polymer is it urethane urethane and it is urethane so urethane's a more premium plastic it just feels a little bit softer, it feels a little bit nicer, but also you see it launch a little bit lower and then the spin will let the ball rise up in the air, whereas a cheaper ball will just go woof, like that. Well, it's almost a fairway hit, Chris, but... Next week I'll find the right one. <laughs> yeah, you were over there last week, weren't you? Yep. <laughs> right, Chris, certainly not your best tee shot. I don't think we can blame the ball too much for that, but at least it's not lost. It's a good angle in, but the worrying thing is it is 90 yards wide. So Chris, did you know that Titleist say this new Titleist Tour Speed is a three-piece thermoplastic urethane cover golf ball designed to deliver consistent category-leading performance proven through extensive testing with amateur golfers? What category are they trying to attract? Amateur golfers, I think. Just amateurs, low figure, low yeah, single so figure. Yeah, the speed player benefits exceptional distance, penetrating flight on long game shots, precise scoring control and soft feel. I don't know how you can have precise scoring control in a golf ball, but I suppose that's just talking about yeah. its consistency. So I think it's for mid handicappers. Okay. The price point would suggest that as well. Yeah, and the fact that it's saying more distance, because if you're a single figure handicapper, most of the time you, you'll be okay with your distance. Yeah. Oh, that is lovely. Well, it launched low. It felt nice. Yeah, nice shot. Sure. Right. I'm, uh, I'm all right laughing at you, Chris. I'm nearly as bad. Right, where are we? Just gonna... miss the rough. I'm hit a little six iron. We've still yet to decide where the flag is. It's just in the middle of the green, I think. Oh, again, nice ball flight. Lower. Yeah, I quite like that as a flight, especially for a mid iron. It's not just popped not up off the loft, has it? We'll take it, see where they are. And you see, for me, I almost think Titleist could be missing a trick here because if they made the Tor Speed golf ball too good, are you going to stop people buying Pro V1s? Which is why I've titled this video, Is This Ball the End of the Pro V1? Because people are getting a bit tired of paying the big money for them, I think. People that I know. And I think in a previous life, these balls would have been cheaper than even £35. Yeah, I think so. Everything's gone up. But also, it's funny that it's another ball that says Tor on it. Like when we talked about last week, Shrieks and having maybe too many balls on the market, you don't know where to start. Well, so this is the Tor Speed, Titleist also had the Tor Soft as well. Tor Soft, so Tor Speed. In the range. Who's hit the green and who's short? Hmm. Do we think? I'm one. Oh, that is you. Yes. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. That's pitched flag high as well, so I'll take that. Nice stop in from the, the rough. Go on then. Ooh, lovely effort. So already I'm a big fan of this alignment aid as well with the arrows on. Yes, I was just about to show the camera that. Bit of a spring clean. Yes, a great alignment aid helping us to line it up. Well, it was a good line, just needed a bit more pace. Yep. 
I'll take that. Felt feels feels very nice actually off the face. Is that good? That's good. Pa, you have this foot to not give me an assailable lead. Assailable. Or unassailable. I'm gonna say. He's got it as well. Oh what a player. Beautiful stuff. Well now I've lost my towel somewhere. Not to put it in your head, but there's water left. Oh, should be past that with a tall speed. It's but trying to go in it. Depends. Might, uh, Depends on the bounce. Might have stayed up. Wasn't the finest of strikes by any means. I'll just show the fans where that struck the face. It happens to us all. Not the middle. Just there. Dear. Uh, oh, well, that's actually clipped the tree. I think it's safe. <laughs> Two flirters. It certainly with... wasn't the best golf swing. Two flirters with the water. And you see, the golf ball market has actually hotted up in recent years, especially at this mid mid range price point. Taylor Made have got the tour response. They've got a tour response. Tour, tour, another tour. Uh, and the Wilson Triad, obviously, great ball as well. We. Really enjoy testing ball. that in Dubai. That's a great ball, isn't it? Mm. Um, and then Shrixton have got some great balls out. Callaway have got... It's not what it used to be, is it, the ball market? No, it's not dominated as much. It's not just a case of you have an AD333 or an NXT or then you jump up to a Pro V. Mm. It seems the NXT's really died a slow death. Died a death, hasn't it? Yeah. Mm. NXT Tour, do you remember them? Oh, another Tour. Oof. Oh, it's a chaser. Same as you. Go. Not bad. We just had a few audio difficulties, but long story short, we both put our drives in the water and we both took a drop. So I'm now there for two, four, and you're there for three. Correct. Before we test out the precision scoring control. Yeah, whatever that one is, we're testing it. Yeah, lovely shot. Very nice. This is a longer putt than I anticipated. I actually played that well, it just kicked to the right. I know, mine just landed in the upslope, which killed it a little bit, but... Right. Come on, be a good bogey, this, actually. Will it be a bogey? One into the plonk, two drop, three, four, five, yeah. No. Ooh. Well, it was positive. That means I've got mine for the old bogey. Oh, what a thought roll. you'd had it. And that is whole halved in double bogeys. That's 12 Ooh. shots between us, that. <laughs> Cracking effort. Not great. Again, not so sure that we can blame the golf ball for that. No. No. But at least we didn't lose a Pro V1. Somehow, no one's took the lead there, but... Must not want to win. It is not his best game today, but it's not the ball. But again, ball so far feels very much like a premium ball for the price. We haven't... Yeah, I think a lot of that's down to the, the European cover. Yeah, and that's where Have Title has kind of made a big mistake. Guys, if you've tried this ball, let us know what you think to it. Are you going to save your money and use a ball like this more often? Because it feels the same as a Pro V1. Performance-wise, we're not so sure, but how much more performance can you get? From a ball, it's three piece, isn't it? So, it is. That's a good line. It's all about the line on this hole at Royal Woolly. That's massive, that. I never get the line. Nice. Well, that's not quite the line, though, is it? It's going to be fairway, but, but you're going to have longer in. The next to the divots from the last five times we've filmed this hole. Every time. Here they are. I knew they'd find it. I knew. Your dirty laundry again, man. Where was it? Well, where you started. That was it. Thank you ever so much. It's always a pleasure. Well, Chris, a bit better. That's a fairway hit. It's a bit yeah. further than my previous divots Yeah, as well. just about 100 yards behind mine. I'm just down over that banking. You know what they say, though. If you've got it, you've got it. It's all about the line. Not got the line again. Right, eight iron. 
Oh, that is lovely. Just turning a bit now. Was that plugged straight away? I think it plugged into the bank around about pin high, but great flight. Yeah, I get a nice low penetrating ball flight, isn't it? I did, I did you're like 35 pounds. Shame I missed the green, but it was a cracking ball flight. Look at this down here. That's embarrassing, Chris. Well, we've just had double bogeys, so <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I can make bogeys. We'll see back. what you can do from here. Might be on that putting green. Right, this is a shot that I have quite often. I never quite get it right, especially to that flag location. Be good. Sit. And that for me is a big factor of when I judge a ball, how does it feel with those kind of half shots and how much control do I feel like I get with it? For me, Tyler might have made a bit of an error here because it might be a bit too good. Right, not too bad at all there. I have to wonder, would a Pro V1 have given me a little bit more stop and a shorter birdie put? It did look like it was closer than when I got up here. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed actually, I'm not gonna lie. Right, let's test the feel. That's a wonderful shot. Release one out. Very Not nice. bad. Not good. <laughs> no. Careful. You joking? I'll tell you what, it's a horrible green. This isn't it. It is a very tricky green. A lot of undulation. This one's on a bit of a ridge. That's a good. Ooh. Ooh. Thought yeah. that would come back. I Look. did. I'll give you that one. Thank you very much. That is a par. And you have this to not go into part two on your own channel one down with the Titleist Tour Speed. Oh, he doesn't miss them. What he doesn't miss them. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Really, you have enjoyed that video on the Titleist Tour Speed. Is it too good? Have Titleist made a huge mistake? Apart from that, guys, I'll see you at the same time tomorrow. Check out part two over on CD Golf. Correct, Amondo. Bye.